So this is a quick video showing you how to play the recon role in MechHack. So you see at the top there your power is charging up, charging up, charging up. So you, your engineer is handling your power. That's good. So um, the two main commands you've got available to you are zoom, which controls the level of the zoom of your scope that you can see here. So you see at the present zoom range 40 kilometers. So the outermost circle is at 40 kilometers. So let's let's um, and that's zoom level 5. I know it's a bit confusing, I might change it so you can just specify the, the range of your outermost circle, but at present I'll change it to zoom 4, and now the outermost range is 50 kilometers. Ah, okay, that'll do. Um, so the other command you've got is scan. So scan, and then the, the syntax of this command is scan and then five numbers. So the first number is the left bound on your scan volume, so let's say 330. So that's this line here. And then you specify the right hand bound, which will be, let's say, 30. And then you specify the range of the, the start of the scan, so let's say 20. And then you specify the maximum range of the scan, let's say 50. And then the last number is a power out of 100 that determines how much, or that specifies how much power you want to spend on this scan. Uh, more power means better accuracy. So let's, let's go whole hog and say 100, and it'll take a chunk of our power, and we'll scan that volume. Okay, so we've found something. So uh, you, you shouldn't be able to see the name at present. I've got that in there for debugging. Um, but we've found something, and it's at round about um, 14 degrees with an error bar of 63 degrees. That's so pretty big, pretty big error. Um, range is 53 plus or minus 63, so you know, we've only got a vague idea of where this is. And you can see the A up here corresponds to the A here. Um, so let's try to get a better fix on where this where this guy is. I'll pretend I don't know exactly where he is, which is what I put in there. Um, let's, let's tighten up the beam a little bit, and um, so it, it tells us that he's about at range 53, but it's pretty inaccurate. So let's say, let's try to clamp it down and say 30 to 50, and we'll scan again. Ooh, there we go. So our error has gone down a hell of a lot. Um, so now we're we're getting getting a, a better idea of where this this, this tank is. Um, so let's let's um, let's make it even smaller. Um, so he's at 37 plus or minus 16. So let's say five degrees left, five degrees right. Or you can also, if you don't want to type out that, you can just say negative five. That works the same. That's negative five degrees to the left, five degrees to the right. And let's say 45, sneak it down, even smaller. Okay, so I'm starting to see a pattern here. I'm pretty sure this guy is dead ahead at 40 kilometers away. So let's um, bump that up. Bang. Okay, so we know nearly exactly where this guy is. And we can now tell our gunner, Hey gunner, we've got a target dead ahead at 40 kilometers range fire and then with any luck your gunner will aim at that target and fire and you will win um, that's basically it bye bye